what is up and welcome back to another vlog happy monday or welcome if you're new here my name is ella i'm 26 and i live in adelaide i do a lot of lifestyle content vlogs and budgeting and personal finance videos um so if any of that is your vibe definitely subscribe and give this video a thumbs up really helps my channel out i really appreciate it and yeah i'm excited to bring you guys along for a little day in my life it is monday today and we are off to tasmania tonight so i have so much that i want to get done i've been <laughs> Like leaving everything to the last minute, typical me. I've been like, yeah, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do that on Monday, whatever. And now Monday has come and my to-do list is out my hoo-ha. It really is. <laughs> and I just have so much I want to get done. So it's going to be a productive little day in my life. I'm excited to bring you guys along. I'm going to try and document as much as I can. I have to pack still. I have not packed a thing. I kind of know already what I'm going to take. We're only gone for a week anyway. But I need to pack. I need to pack Mabel's stuff because we're dropping her off at my parents' house this afternoon. I have a sit down video that I want to film. I have my vlog that I still need to finish editing and upload ready to go live tonight. I have some emails to reply to. Oh, I want to wash my makeup brushes before we leave. Clear my camera roll as well because I've just had the worst problems with my storage on my phone recently. So I need to sort that out. I have a bunch of packages to unbox with you guys. I've just been kind of holding off. Um, if you guys watched my last vlog, I took like a couple of weeks off of vlogging. So I've had a bunch of packages just laying around and I've been waiting to open them when I'm back vlogging. So we're going to do that together. I think that's it really. Oh, I need to make the thumbnail as well. I need to wash off this horrific tan and wash my hair. Just like get ready for the day, get ready for the week. So I'm excited to bring you guys along. It's going to be a busy day. I have to do all of this before three. So wish me luck i'm gonna hop in the shower now wash off my tan wash my hair and then we'll get stuck into the day we started this morning off with the most beautiful beach walk so mabel moo is nice and tired out having to shower upstairs today for a bit of a change we had the builders come back and fix some stuff in our ensuite like some of the tiling was cracked or chipped and then they had to like unscrew the actual shower so we can't use the downstairs shower for the moment so i'm up here using the main bathroom shower it's really nice up here honestly it's kind of a vibe they actually came on thursday and they went to come back on friday and re-screw the shower in and they just didn't so that's a little bit annoying because we've this whole weekend we've just been having well, it's such a first world problem we've having to go upstairs to use this shower good morning there we go. past two o'clock oh my gosh i've already got a reminder for our flight we literally have to leave in an hour i have not packed but i have mail and i want to unbox it with you guys before i leave some of this stuff as well is stuff that i want to take with me to tasmania so we'll unbox that together we might be leaving in an hour and i might not be packed still but i have actually had a productive time my video is scheduled, ready to go live. Made the thumbnail, cleaned my makeup brushes, updated my budget for the month because we're not going to really be tracking our Tasmania trip. Instead, I'm just going to be using the Wee Money app, which I always use anyway. Um, just keep track of everything automatically. Big thank you to them for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. I've talked about them a bunch before. I swear by them, I really do. Especially if you're in the beginning of stages of getting on top of your finances. Or if you're just someone that's busy, you don't have time to keep track of everything. You want something that's automatic. We Money is basically a financial wellness platform which is designed to help you manage your finances and help pay down debt faster. It's been an integral part of us paying down our mortgage quicker and just keeping track of all our different accounts 
because I feel like once you take out a home loan, you're suddenly with like 50 different banks. We Money gives you the ability to see all of your different accounts in the one space. You get a really good cohesive overview of your finances. There's so many cool features. Not only do they have an amazing debt tracker, but they have a goal tracker, a net worth tracker. You can see your credit score and then it also tracks your spending and your income as well. They have a great community tab as well so you can interact with like-minded people that are also on their own financial journey. I've been really enjoying it, especially right now with the cost of living, just getting different ideas and inspiration on meal ideas or just like ways to cut down on our spending. Yeah, I'll have my sign up link down below if you guys do wanna check them out. I love Wee Money. We're a big Wee Money family around here. It's something that Nick's gotten on board with and it's one of my favorite things. It's literally become like, it's in the rotation with my social media apps is the Wee Money app just to see where our finances are at. I love it. But yeah, I'm not really gonna be updating my budget spreadsheet while we're on holiday. Like I just don't really want to. It's not really a priority. We've set aside a certain amount of money for our Tasmania trip and with the Wee Money app, I can just track everything automatically with zero effort. Anyway, let's unbox these packages, shall we? I feel like a true YouTuber doing an unboxing video. PR haul. I think some of this, well actually only one of these is PR. First package. I'm so excited about. This is actually from a subscriber. Huge shout out to her, her name is Sarah. When I tell you, she <laughs> went above and beyond to have this package delivered. I've been having the worst trouble with my PO box. For whatever reason, I really need to sort that out when I get back, but I won't bore you with the details, but let's just say four attempted deliveries and it's finally here. So obviously I had to open it on camera. Oh my gosh. Guys, stop. This literally feels like Christmas. Ah, I can't. Oh my gosh, stop. Dear Ella, thank you so much for all your effort and real life experiences that you share on your channel. I always look forward to your videos. I've put a few random things in a package to share with you my appreciation and bring you some of the happiness you bring to others. I can't quite express to you just how grounding and important your videos have been to me after a stressful and long day at the hospital. Lots of love, Sarah XX subscriber since 2016. Oh my God, you're a real one. Also, I couldn't find anything for little Mabel that would fit in the box. That's all right. P.S. I'm so sorry your original package got lost. P.P.S. Hope you haven't gotten the book I chose for us both. It's meant to be great. Oh my gosh, Sarah. You are so sweet. Okay, firstly, <laughs> is this what I think it is? I do not have anything like this. I was actually thinking about this the other day when I was posting. I had my friends over for a little Barbie cocktail situation. I was like, I can really do this with or something. They're so pretty. She got me, oh, Jesus, some cocktail picks. A Hydra Bomb sheet mask. Oh, two. Oh my gosh, me and Nick can do them together. Yes. I'm guessing this is the book. Oh, there's two books. Oh my goodness. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I have read this one. I've read it ages ago, actually. Probably like two or three years ago now. Maybe three. I don't have the physical copy, though. Stunning. I'm gonna reread that, honestly. It's like one of my favorite books. And this, I've heard so many good things about. Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I feel like all of my friends have read this. Oh my gosh, some new bookies. Yay! Oh my gosh, what is this? This is literally the sweetest package ever. Ooh, cocktail rim garnish, watermelon sugar. Very Harry Styles of you. With a cocktail piece. That is beautiful. A cocktail, this is so thoughtful. This is too much. Cheers. Thank you so much, Sarah, if you're watching. This has honestly made my day the sweetest card. I will literally cherish forever. This is going right in my treasure box. I have a treasure box that I've had since I was like 10 years old and this all going in there. It's so sweet. All of this stuff, the face mask, the books, Cocktail stuff. This is so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know how to pivot into the stuff I bought for myself. <laughs> I also got a package from the Iconic. Firstly, we got a t-shirt. Oh, this is nice. Like a waffle material. It's from Atmos in here, which I really like this stuff. I have a couple of things from their brand. It's like a, just a cute little soft 
waffle tea. I think it was like 15 bucks. I got another puffer vest. I did. You guys have probably seen it in all of my vlogs. I have the nude one from Cotton On. I wear it literally all the time. I've gotten so much wear out of it. The black one was on sale and I feel like I would get even more wear out of this to be honest. I got the large slash extra large, which I saw someone on TikTok saying how oversized they are and I mean they are, but I'm quite full. So large slash extra large, it doesn't look ridiculous on me. I feel like it's actually a nice oversized fit. Oh, and then this was a bit of a panic purchase. But it's been sitting in my wish list. <laughs> Not me talking about how I've been saving money and been really good this month. <laughs> and then I'm like showing you all these clothes that I bought. Just these. No, no, no. Oh my God. She nearly got one of these. Are you kidding me? You're trying to kill yourself. Yeah, I had this dress sitting in my wish list for a while. Again, it's from Atmos in here. It's an Olympia mini dress and I got it in the khaki color. I feel like it's not, I'm not doing it any justice. <laughs> It's like a button up. Obviously I would not wear it this buttoned up. I would actually show the girls off a little, you know, let them be free. But I thought it was pretty. I might take this with me just in case we go out for like a nice dinner or something. It's got the long sleeves, the little belt to cinch in the waist. Gorge. Oh my goodness. Wow. Am I spoiled? Oh my gosh, it's like a little pop. How cool. Wine PR, honestly, incredible. We've got a Merlot, a Shiraz, and a Cab Sav. Wow, thanks guys. This is their Instagram, if you guys want to check them out. Yeah, go off, sis. <laughs> okay. I need a pack. We have like half an hour before we need to leave, but I was waiting for my Princess Polly order to arrive, to be fair, which is why I've been holding off packing all day because I bought a bunch of stuff. This isn't sponsored, but I'll be working with them in another video and on my Instagram. Finally all packed up. We've got Mabel in the back and all of her stuff. I'm so sad. I don't want to say goodbye. Like, it's going to be the longest week ever without her. Don't you think? I know what you mean, but... Yeah, like our first time away from our little girl. Yeah, she'll be okay. She'll, she'll be good. So she'll have so much fun with my parents. Dad's going to follow us back to our house and then take us to the airport, which is stunning. So we've got plenty of time. Our flight's not until like almost six o'clock. That was like record packing for me. Bish bosh bash right in the suitcase. I don't even know what I packed, but we'll find out when we get there. Come on, who's that? Hello. <laughs> Where are we? Come on. Oh, oh no. Oh my gosh. Hi, Lily. You can just say that. Oh, best friends. Oh, <laughs> Oh, be Mabel. a good girl. Bye, Mabel. Bye, Mabel Moon. Have a lovely holiday. Oh, don't Bye. worry about me. I'll be well behaved. <laughs> Hopefully. Let's get to the past 9 30 and we are here we had literally the quickest most easy plane ride over here it was so smooth and we just checked into our hotel took us a, <laughs> took us a second to find it because there's two different buildings we went to the wrong one but we're staying at the moss hotel for the first night i think this is called their loft room that's cool it's so nice this is actually a recommendation from a subscriber lovely robes 
how good. Oh wow, the bathroom is nice. That's cool. I love the green. Oh, oh that's good. It's, it's almost 10 o'clock. We haven't eaten yet, so. Oh, we had a little salad from Soul Origin before we left. I like. Well, four. four. But we haven't really eaten other than that, so we're gonna head to Mackie D's because oh. when in Rome, right? Because <laughs> <'cause laughs> it's <laughs> in Tasmania. Don't forget to try the Mackie D's. Quite literally the only thing open right now. The, the, the On a Monday night. It's just better when you're off the mainland. <laughs> Man, ankles are swollen. They really are swollen. Yeah, yeah. Ankle fucking city. No, There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? We've woken up in Hobart, we just checked out of our hotel and went and got brekkie at this beautiful cafe. It was Terrific. so good. Terrific. What was it called? Dandy? The Dandy? Dandy Lane. Dandy Lane. So good. I got the pork belly scramble. I got the eggs benedict with smoked salmon. And now we're walking back to the car. It's actually not that cold. Everyone said, prepare, prepare for the cold. <laughs> Everyone also said they could tell uh, we were tourists because I'm wearing shorts. Yeah, Nick is wearing shorts. They thought he was from Queensland. I'm wearing puffer jacket. <laughs> is that a dog bag? Yes. <laughs> Always be prepared. Dog dad life. <laughs> Always be prepared. <laughs> Do you have treats in there too? Anyway, it is so pretty. It reminds me a lot of the UK. Yes, hugely. Giving real English vibes around here. Wow, this is a good dashboard for it's vlogging, nice, isn't, isn't it? it? This is perfect. We are now off on our next adventure. show. We're only here for one night in Hobart just because we landed so late. We just wanted to like check into a hotel. We stayed at the Moss Hotel. Really nice. It was actually a recommendation from a couple of you guys. Very nice. It was really nice. Slightly so, different? Yeah, it was. It's not like a super fancy, luxurious, like there's no real amenities if you're after that. But in terms of like the room and the actual vibe in there, it was really, really cool. We stayed in the loft room, I think it was. Mm. Really nice. The actual rooms felt really luxurious and like cool and edgy, vibey. And the service was really good. We checked out so quickly. <laughs> yeah. Did you use anything from the minibar? No. Nope. Okay, All good. bye. <laughs> and then from here, we're headed up to the East Coast for a couple of nights. We're staying in... Bitch... Bitch, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I will nail these names eventually. It's like a two hour drive from here, but we're gonna stop at a couple of places on the way. We wanna to go to Richmond. I think they have the oldest bridge in Australia. Seems like something we should see. <laughs> they have like a lolly shop. I don't know, we're just gonna walk around. Shop. I love cute Ooh, little yes. towns like that. And then we're gonna to go to Swansea as well. Just a nice way to like break up the drive okay. a little bit. We do have a penguin tour tonight at six o'clock, which I'm really excited I about. Love penguins. But yeah, that's really the plan for today. How are you feeling? Very excited. I feel like we're fully in holiday mode. Yeah. I like turned on my out of office. I sent like the last of my emails this yeah. morning. We were both working in the in the, uh, in the, in the I was like, how have we yeah. come to this? How is this our life right now? Yeah. Oh, what else are you doing in the airport? Game? No, when, as soon as you leave for the airport, you should be in holiday mode. We shouldn't have been working. No, I agree with that. But also, it's like, what, what else are you doing? Sitting there? Yeah, like relaxing, thinking about your holiday, decompressing. We were both like. Like that, like, oh, I, I gotta get the vlog up, gotta send some emails, gotta... I didn't look like that. You did. <laughs> Shall we go? Yeah, let's go.
almost two o'clock and we have made it to Swansea. It was actually not too bad of a drive. No. The, wo <laughs> words. the roads were kind of windy and it was a little bit rainy, a little bit foggy and I'm a nervous Nelly, but it was fine. We're here. We made it. Looks like a cute little beachy town. I'm going to get out and walk around, grab another coffee. We've just been munching on our little grish in the sweet shop. We got some chocolate frogs and freckles, giant freckles in there. Nick got some red licorice. And then we got these, these are so good. The raspberry drops. Cutest little sweet shop in Richmond. It was very sweet. And yeah, we're gonna fuel up, get some caffeine into us. And then I think it's like a half an hour drive to... Pichina. Pichina. Like, actually can't say. And then we're gonna check into our Airbnb. And then tonight we have the penguin tour. Sorry. I love penguins. <laughs> Just arrived at our Airbnb. It's actually so cute, like way cuter than the photos. Not that it looked bad in the photos, like it looked nice in the photos, but it's even better. Cute little entryway. Got a lounge. It's absolutely pouring down with rain at the moment. This is the bathroom. Oh, look at that bathtub con. Yeah. Wow. That is so nice. Cute little extra bedroom. This is where Nick will be sleeping for the night. Cute little outside area. And then this is the bedroom. Really cute. We have rested for like an hour. Just to recoup. Thank you. And now we're going to head for an early lunch. No, dinner. Because we didn't have lunch. We had a big breakfast and we haven't really eaten today and the penguin tour is at six it finishes at like seven ish but most things close at seven here so we're gonna go to a place called lobster shack get a lobster roll 